Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Techniques course. In this video, we'll implement Gaussian naive Bayes classifier from scratch. In case of Gaussian naive Bayes classifier, the features are real number or they assume or they take continuous value. Here we assume that each feature given label is drawn from a Gaussian distribution. So formally we write xj given yr is drawn from a Gaussian distribution with two parameters mean and the variance. Here xj is the j feature and yr is the, is the label. There are two parameters in this Gaussian distribution, the mean mu and the variance sigma squared. So for m features and k labels, there are m into k Gaussian distributions. So there is one Gaussian distribution per feature and label. And each Gaussian distribution has two parameters. Hence, the total parameters to estimate would be 2 times m times k. So alternatively, we can also parameterize this Gaussian distribution as a multivariate Gaussian distribution. So for each label, we can assume that there is a multivariate Gaussian distribution with m features. Such a distribution will have a mean vector mu with m components that is one mean per feature and a covariance matrix with m cross m entries. However, since we are making a conditional independence assumption among variables, the covariance matrix is assumed to be diagonal. Its op diagonal entries are 0 and the diagonal entries denote the variance of each feature. So in this scheme, we need to estimate k multivariate Gaussian distributions, one per label. For each distribution, we need to estimate m mins and m variances. As such, the number of parameters are same in both the representations. However, the multivariate Gaussian representation is more efficient in terms of computation of means and standard deviation from the training, from the training examples. Let's study how to estimate the parameters of naive Bayes classifier. And here, we'll talk about parameter estimation in the multivariate case. Let nr be the total number of samples with label y. So the parameters of multivariate Gaussian distribution label yr can be calculated as follows. Sum of feature vectors with label yr and then we divide that sum by nr which is the total number of samples or examples with label yr. And in the same manner we also estimate the standard deviation for every feature. So here we take sum of the square of difference between the individual feature vector and the mean vector and then we, then we divide this sum by the total number of samples and we get the, the variance for, uh, for the multivariate Gaussian distribution for label R. Now that we have estimated the the parameters of Gaussian distribution, we will use them to calculate the posterior probability using the Bayes theorem. So probability that the example x belongs to class yc is calculated as uh, this is the likelihood into prior divided by the evidence. The likelihood is computed using, using the following formula. So for every variable xj for label yc, we have we have the parameters of the Gaussian distribution and we use this uh, we use these parameters in the in the formula of the of Gaussian PDF. So it is 1 over square root of 2 pi uh, mu j c exponential of minus half x j minus mu j c divided by sigma j c uh, squared. This can also be implemented with multivariate Gaussian distribution with diagonal covariance matrix. So this particular, so there are a couple of changes here. So there is a change here where we 
we take 1 over 2 pi raised to d by 2 where d is the number of dimensions or this d is equal to actually m so m is the number of dimensions and then we take the uh, then we take then we take the determinant of the covariance matrix and take square root of that determinant and here we take exponential of minus so this is the distance between the 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 example uh, vector and the mean vector we take transpose of that we multiply it with with the same difference vector and we scale it by the inverse of the covariance matrix now here what we are doing is we are intuitively calculating the distance between mean and the sample and we normalize it by variance so that is what this particular term represents and we uh, and we convert this distance or this exponential into probability by dividing it with a normalizing constant which is 2 pi uh, raised to d by 2 and uh, into the determinant of into the square root of determinant of the covariance matrix. Let us implement uh, the Gaussian uh, naive base classifier. So we implement fit which performs which performs parameter estimation for Gaussian distribution. So here we uh, first calculate number of samples and number of features. We find out how many classes are there by uh, performing np dot unique on the label vector and then we get the number of classes and finally uh, we uh, and then we initialize the mean variance and priors by zero so uh, we initialize them by zero and here we set up the right kind of data structure to store mean variance and prior so there are there are k mean vector one per each class and each mean vector has a uh, number of components equal to number of features in case of the variance we are also storing only the we are storing only the diagonal element so that's why we have uh, the shape which is number of classes comma number of features and in case of priors we have a vector with uh, with the number of components equal to the number of classes now what we do is we first get all the examples with label c and then we calculate the mean vector of of all the all the feature vectors corresponding to the examples in class c and then we also calculate the uh, the variance again from the the feature uh, matrix corresponding to uh, examples with label C and we also calculate we also estimate the priors which is the total number of examples in uh, in class C divided by the total number of trading examples so that is how the prior is calculated and this is how we also calculated prior in case of Bernoulli distribution. Then we calculate the Gaussian PDF which is uh, the formula that we talked about which is 2 times which is 2 times uh, which or which is 2 pi raised to uh, m by or d by 2 into the the square root of the determinant of the uh, of the covariance matrix and here we uh, represent the covariance matrix by calling np dot diagonal on the variance that was computed so this is how we construct the m by m covariance matrix and we take the determinant of that covariance matrix and take square root of the determinant so that is the normalizing constant and we normalize it um, we use it for normalizing the the exponential of distance between the feature vector and the mean vector which is uh, which is normalized with 
the inverse of the covariance matrix. We also implement a function to calculate product of uh, likelihood and prior and we do this in log space. So we have np dot log the value of the likelihood plus np dot log value of the prior for for each class. So while predicting the class label for each sample, we first calculate the product of likelihood and prior and then we assign the class label that results into the largest value of the product of likelihood and prior. And finally, we implement predict underscore prover function that calculates the probability of each sample belonging to different classes. So here we take, uh, we again perform the product of likelihood and prior. We get the product of likelihood and prior for every class that is in log space. And what we do is we perform the, uh, we apply the exponential on the log space in order to get the actual probability values. And then we divide that probability value with the sum of probability values across uh, different classes. And that's how we get probability of each example belonging to different class. And these are vectorized operations. So in, in one operation, we get probability of this sample belonging to different classes. Let's see the working of this implementation with two cases. First is the binary classification case. Here we generate examples from two classes. We divide the data into training and test. Then we train the model on examples from the training set and evaluate the classification performance on the test set. So here the training data is generated with two multivariate Gaussian distribution, one with mean 5,5 .5 and the second one with mean 10,10 .10 and the standard deviation of 1.5 for each Gaussian. So there are two features and uh, we generate 100 total such examples. So we are generating 100 examples each with two features and we are setting the mean of Gaussian distribution to 5,5 .5 and 10,10 .10, and the standard deviation is 1.5 and we also set a random number in order to get repeatability uh, of x -min. Then we perform training and test split to get training and test sets. Now we instantiate the object of Gaussian naive classifier as we have implemented it earlier and we call the fit function by passing the training feature matrix and training feature vector to, to, the, to the fit function. And the fit function gives us the estimated mean, variance and prior. So you can see that class 0 has prior of 0.51 whereas class 1 has prior of 0.48 or close to 0.49 and here you can observe that uh, mean vectors have uh, each mean vector has two components right one for feature 1 and second for feature 2 and the variance has two entries one for feature 1 and feature 2 and we are only storing the diagonal elements in the covariance matrix. And here, since we have uh, used uh, we have used synthetic data for training the model, we can also check whether the estimated means are close to the actual means. And you can see that uh, you know we had generated two Gaussian distributions, one with mean 5,5 .5 and second with mean 10,10. .10. And uh, you can see that we are able to estimate the means that are close to 5,5 .5 and 10,10. .10. Now what we'll do is we'll plot these Gaussian distributions. So you can see that the, uh, there is there are two axes, the feature 1, x1 and x2. And these are two uh, distributions, two Gaussian distributions. One with blue points and the second one with, um, with, with red points. Now we can test the inference procedure on the test data. So we can get the class label predicted by uh, calling the predict method on the naive object by passing the test feature matrix and you can see the, the, uh, the feature labels. And we can also generate a classification report that gives us 
uh, important classification evaluation metrics like precision, recall, F1 score and accuracy for different classes. So we simply call the classification report by passing the, the actual uh, values, uh, actual labels and the predicted labels and we get a classification report which is uh, there on your screen. We can also get probability for each examples uh, belonging to different classes by calling the predict underscore prova function and uh, you know you can see that each data point has got two probabilities one for each class. Now let us make a prediction for new data point and you can see that this new data point is close to the cluster of uh, points which are red in color. So intuitively you can uh, you can see that it will get assigned to this particular uh, class label. So since the point is closer to Gaussian distribution with mean 5 comma 5, it will get label of that class. And when we call the predict underscore prova function with this new example, you can see that the probability of this new sample coming from belonging to class 1 or class 0 is 0.99 and class 1 is, is a very small number which is close to 0. So, so, so based on this we can assign based on these, this probability vector we can we assign this point to, to class 0 which has got mean of 5 comma 5. So our implementation also works for multi-class case. So here we generate 100 points with uh, three class labels with mean 5 comma 5, 10 comma 10 and 20 comma 20. We perform training test split and then we um, estimate the parameters of the Gaussian naive based classifier. You can see that there are three means now, each mean with, uh, uh, with two components and there are uh, there are three rows also in the variance matrix in the in the variance matrix and here each row stores the diagonal of the covariance matrix corresponding to each class label and there are 33 percent points coming from class 0 35 percent points coming from class 1 and 31 percent points coming from uh, class 2 So we can also, uh, you know, uh, use methods like classification report to generate uh, the evaluation of the classifier by supplying the actual labels and the predicted labels. And when we calculate predict underscore prova function, uh, we get the probabilities of each sample belonging to different classes. Now there are three different uh, components or there are three columns. So this is the uh, probability of class of, of example 1 belonging to class 0, class 1 and class 2. And you can see that the, the sum of each row is, is 1. In this video, we implemented Gaussian naive based classifier from scratch. We implemented the parameter estimation and the inference procedures and we demonstrated the, the implementation with binary and multi-class cases.